Hello! <laughs> I'm James from Suguru, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to repair those annoying cracks and breaks in your fridge and freezer. Uh, Suguru is perfect for this because it bonds to most of the materials in your fridge and freezer, it cures to a tough silicon rubber, and it's cold proof to minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to show you three different types of repairs. One, repairing cracks on drawers. Uh, another one is rebuilding missing parts from shelves and stuff. And another one is when you, uh, when you get a broken hole in the panels of your fridge, you can rebuild that also. Cool. Let's get started. Ah, hello. So, as I was saying in, in the fridge, I've tried using super glue and, and glues like that for repairs, but the problem is that uh, when it's exposed to extreme cold for a long period of time, it just gets brittle. Uh, in Sugar, because it cures to a flexible rubber, it's also cold proof, it stays the same, so it's really super perfect for this job. Right, let's get started. Let's get started! Let's fix some fridges! To repair your fridge, you'll need Sugru, scissors, dried tissue paper, and soapy water. All of this will make sense as we progress. First off, we're going to repair your broken crisp drawer or freezer drawer. And it has a really nasty crack here. If you don't fix this, this is just going to get worse. And eventually the whole thing will have to be chuffed. Um, already it's quite advanced, but we can fix this up really easily with Suguru. Uh, for this, I'm going to use red so it stands out. But we have white or black or uh, blue or yellow. So cut the, open the Suguru, follow the dotted lines. Peel open the foil and pop out your Suguru. Knead in your fingers for a few seconds. Uh, and a crack like this, you need just one mini pack. Uh, top tip for this is don't just put Suguru on the front, but front and back. It'll give it a much stronger uh, repair. Uh, and press the Suguru into a sausage about the length of the crack. And then just fold over and press onto the surface that you want to repair. To start with, this is going to look pretty ugly. Don't worry, this is just stage one. Once it's in position, you simply, repeatedly, press the suguru onto the surface. Again, with this, what you want to do is spread the suguru out around the crack. Give it more surface area to bond to, and it'll create a much stronger repair. And then it's really down to how nice you want to make this look. To make the surface really smooth, to get rid of all of your fingerprints, uh, just dip your finger in the soapy water and glide your finger over the surface and you'll give Suger a really super smooth surface finish. And believe it or not, that's repaired. Now you're finished, just you need to leave this for 24 hours to fully cure and pop it back in your fridge or freezer and it'll give you several more years of service. Ooh, fridge fixing, yeah, 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 yes. The glass shelf with a broken frame, we can repair this very easily. This is quite a large piece of plastic that's missing, so I would recommend we use two mini packs of Suguru. Blend the, the two packs of Suguru together and you're good to go. Uh, a top tip for this is um, press the Suguru into a sausage the size of the part that's missing, about this long, and, and then simply just press it into position on the glass. And once it's in location, you just press it down and around where you need it. <laughs> the trick here is gently and repeatedly pressing the Suguru to, to do two things. One is to bond to the surface as well as you can, but also to get to achieve the shape you want. So another tip for this is building the Suguru over the plastic parts. So you're giving it more surface to, to bond to. Um, something it's good to know, the, the Suguru will bond to the plastic and the glass. It, it particularly likes bonding to glass. So broadly speaking, generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with that. And now I want to make it look really nice and smooth. Just dip your finger into soapy water and glide it over the surface of the Suguru. And this will make the Suguru really smooth and remove all your fingerprints. Okay, that's finished. Leave this for 24 hours to cure before you put it back into the fridge. And this will work for several years to come. Another classic problem. Uh, another classic problem with fridges is plastic breaking on the lining, lining of your fridge. This is a fridge door where the clips for the... What are they called? Where the, where the clippy thing for the door thing uh, is broken. 
just from abuse or getting bashed or something. Uh, and we can be rebuild that with Sugu very easily. Uh, I think because of the size of this brake, I'll only need about half a mini pack. So just press it into the center. It's really key here that you, that you uh, press the Sugu onto the surface to get the best possible bond you can. So start by, I've just made a bit of a pyramid-y sausage shape. Press it onto the brake and press it into, into the fridge to get the best possible bond you can. You can. Uh, it's just about sculpting that shape gently to be as close to the original shape as possible. And the luxury here is because Sugar is flexible, it doesn't have to be perfect. It will just slot on nicely around the thing. And that's pretty good. I think that will do a good job. And finally, a little bit of soapy water to give it a lovely smooth surface finish. For a fix like this, I'd recommend it leaving at least 24 hours, maybe longer before you put the full load of the fridge compartment onto this. Also, Suguru, uh, the colder it is, the longer it takes to cure. So in, if you're doing a repair inside your fridge, leave it longer before you exert too much force on it. Just give it a chance to do its job. Ah, and there's one other fridge tip I should give you, and that is... Did you know that Suguru lasts twice as long if you store it in a fridge? So 24 hours later, the rebuilt doorknob has fully cured and we can now load the door, the fridge compartment onto it. And it's really super robust, very strong and can now take the load of your milk or whatever else you want to put in here. This is the crisp drawer, 24 hours later. The Sugru is fully cured. Ah, and of course, the glass shelf for the plastic frame. That's fully cured now and ready to, for many more years of service. Happy days! My fridge is fixed! Woo! Ah, the final tip of the day is if you get Sugru on your fingers, just use dry tissue paper to remove it. Perfect. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I really hope you get to save your fridge from landfill. Uh, spread the word. There are probably loads of people out there who are thinking about spending a fortune on a fridge they don't need. Uh, check out sugar.com. More tips, inspiration, projects, tutorials. Uh, keep on fixing.